After over two and a half years of COVID research, scientists are finally seeing the first data points that prove a dramatic change in human organs after a COVID infection. So you can start thinking about getting COVID almost as an accelerant to aging, almost as a, and it's like the, the viral infection accelerates the aging process in people. Dr. Siad Al-Ali, director of the Clinical Epidemiology Center at Washington University in St. Louis, gathered data from millions of people across the country. Their studies on kidney outcomes in long COVID, long COVID in the brain, and long COVID in the heart had similar patterns all pointing to multiple human organs aging faster after COVID. The majority happening among people who were hospitalized, but also some with mild COVID symptoms. Almost about three to four years in the span of just one. What we've seen is that people are losing about three to four percent kidney function in the year that follows that infection. That usually, usually happens with aging you know, in, in actually four or three or four years of aging. So there's a group at Mission Bay. That- we took these findings to Dr. Michael Peluso, infectious disease specialist at UCSF. His team was one of the first in the country to begin long COVID research in April of 2020. Now what we're trying to do is actually figure out why, what is the biology of what causes those long-term effects. Dr. Peluso said his team has an idea of why some organs may be experiencing aging or injury after COVID. Some of the theories for what might be causing long COVID symptoms include persistence of the virus. So the virus, instead of coming and going, it might stick around. Inflammation, autoimmune problems, um, changes in the microbiome, the good bacteria that um, are in our bodies. Even though more years of data are necessary, Dr. Al-Ali believes this increased aging process will eventually stop. So my, my hunch is from the data and sort of the, also my hope that, that, that this really will eventually flatten out. And, and there are some early indications that this really may be the case. In San Francisco, Luz Pena, ABC 7 News.